We welcome you to Witch Wrestling Roundup minus Wit. He is somewhere between Sandusky and Delphus. He might make it by the end of the show, but we don't know. So sitting in for Wit is Wes Bittner. Would you like to advertise your Twitter handle there? Um, if anybody out there would like to follow me on Twitter, <laughs> my Twitter name is right here on my shirt, at WBittner58, right here. Yeah. That's all I got. We'll see how that goes for you. Co <laughs> Coach actually made you that shirt, didn't he? Yes, he did. Last year before state, so. Okay. And you've worn it how many times? Seven hundred. I've worn it pretty often. <laughs> okay, Austin Martin, are you? Do you have a shirt in the works, perhaps? No, I do not. Okay, well, maybe that's a pr senior prize. Austin's one of the three seniors on the team. Uh, what's it been like to be a senior and to, to lead this team? Um, it's actually been a really different this year with just being uh, me and Nate being the only two varsity seniors and um, going to bigger tournaments this year than last year. Have you enjoyed it, or has it been kind of kind of pressure uh, for uh, you? I actually like being a team captain. Okay. What are some of the things that goes into that, being a team captain on a team like Delphi St. John's? It has pretty good numbers. Running warm-ups and uh, just everybody looking up to me as a team captain at every tournament. They don't need a, a Twitter handle on your shirt. They know who you are. <laughs> no. You're, you're in good shape. What are you looking forward to as, as we enter postseason play? Tomorrow, obviously, the duels start for the, um, the team tournament. Then you got the big MAC meet coming up with, with the other two um, schools. Just having people actually healthy this year for the uh, team state duels and hopefully make it further than we did last year chance to host what does that mean to you um well it's good maybe we can get some more fans out get the atmosphere up it's always good to have people that they're supporting you hopefully cheering us on be good Wes uh, I look up on the wall and you were a state qualifier in grade school what grade was that <laughs> sixth sixth grade and then you were a junior high state qualifier as well long history of wrestling what's it feel like now to be a junior and to have all those matches behind you um, I think it helped me. Back then it was all about technique and mm -hmm. just getting the basics down. And now that I'm older, now it's more about developing strength and stuff. And the technique really comes in helpful when I'm in situations that are a little more pressure filled. I know mm -hmm. how to get out of those. Take us through your season so far. What's been a highlight? Uh, winning the Marion Harding tournament. Mm -hmm. I was uh, the outstanding wrestler of the tournament. And that's probably been the highlight of my whole wrestling career so far. Take us through that tournament because there's a lot of schools there, aren't there? Yeah, I think there's over 30 teams. Yeah. I'm not real sure. Um, I had a really good semis match. I had the uh, number five ranked kid in the state, and then he was winning going into the third period, but I ended up sticking him and pinning him. Wow. And then I was worried I was going to, well, I wasn't worried. I was excited to possibly <laughs> wrestle Dylan Hefner again from Shawnee. Right, right. But in his semis match, he was winning and got caught and got wow. pinned. But then I wrestled that kid, and I beat him five to four, and it was a, it was a really good match. So. Yeah, you and Dylan had a good one at the Allen County meet. Better for him, not for you. But you, you've, you've come back from it. You're doing yeah. well. And, and now looking ahead, uh, do you think about sectionals yet, or is that still a little bit too far away? Um, I like to always think about sectionals. Okay. It gives me more fuel to really work hard and practice and lifting afterwards. But I try and focus on the closest stuff, but that is always in the back of my mind. Okay. Austin, what's been a favorite memory so far for you? Uh, this year? Yeah. Um, probably just going to the CIT tournament again. Okay. And just, that's my, our team's favorite tournament, and just being in Cleveland the whole weekend was pretty fun. All right, Delphi St. John's hoping to make more memories in the next few weeks, hosting the team dual tournament tomorrow here at Delphi St. John's. When we return, we'll talk to the head coach and some more wrestlers on Wits Wrestling Roundup on WSN. Second period here on Wits Wrestling Roundup. Jim Whitcamp trying to get here. We'll see if he makes it. He had a busy day at work, had to bail out. A fellow employee, and Jim is always there for everybody. So we certainly miss him. He wanted to pass along our Buffalo Wild Wings rest for the week. Derek Ebiscotti from, Van, er, from the Van Buren Invitational, the OG wrestler, won the 195-pound weight class. Derek Sterling, the head coach down on the end, and sitting next to me, the freshman Evan Pullman. Coach, let's start with you. You used to be a part of the Van Buren Invitational a, a few years back, correct? <clears throat> yeah. Just I, have changed the schedule a little bit? Yep. Uh, what happens is, is uh, about every four years, we overlap with the CIT. It's okay. on the same weekend. Um, we choose to go to the CIT. It's a little bit bigger tournament, and uh, it's not that I'm saying it's a better tournament. It's just sure. some different teams, some D1, some D2 schools. Uh, competition at both is, is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, I like getting the traveling in, at least traveling once a year before we get to districts. So the kids kind of know what I expect when we're at a hotel and uh, the two-night you know, tournaments and, and staying the night, just kind of to get used to it a little sure. bit, the sure. feeling. How's the season going for you guys? Uh, injuries were a problem there in the early going, getting healthy, it sounds um, like. Yeah, we had a little bit of a late start with uh, the football program, right. and uh, we started out at the Lincoln View Invitational. Most guys came off about four or five days practice. Um, Injury-wise, we got a couple concussions, um, some, some small bumps and bruises, some shoulders and knees. 
uh, like any other team, I think, in the sport. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be one of the keys for tomorrow at the state duels. Yeah. Uh, we've got some guys we're hoping to get back. I'm not sure how how that looks right now. <laughs> so, I, I can't. Till, till I can't. Last time. Oh, I can't share any of that information. Well, I understand. In case the other coaches are watching. <laughs> <laughs> Getting to host, so that's certainly a, a nice thing. You'll face the winner of OG or, or Van Wert. Uh, get to sit back that first match and kind of scout them both out. How nice is that to have that at your home place? Um, anytime we can get wrestling in uh, St. John's. Mm -hmm is a big thing to me, you know, to promote. I, I promote our our team a lot, and I try to promote the Lima area wrestling. So anytime we get to host any kind of meet is a big thing for us. Yeah. And uh, just, just to get fans in here, a lot of people aren't, you know, it's hard to spend two days at a tournament right. and maybe only see four or five wrestlers from St. John's Wrestle within an hour. Sure, yeah. And where if you're hosting, you got the dual meets, it, you know, they get to see the whole team and uh, to host, I think it's a big deal because it was voted on by area coaches. Mm -hmm. And uh, to get the vote from the coaches, I think it's uh, a pretty big deal. Evan Pullman, a freshman, 126. How's your season going so far? How's the adjustment been to varsity wrestling? I don't know. This one's pretty hard to me. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's, what's been some of your highlights so far? I saw you over at the Lima Senior Invitational uh, battling through there against an LCC wrestler. You got to win there. What, what have been your adjustments and your highlights? Well, uh, the Lincoln View meet, our first meet, I got fifth place. So I was pretty excited about that. Uh, CIT, um, big meet. I uh, kind of hoped that it'd get to the second day, but I didn't. I went one and two. Mm -hmm. So kind of got disappointed there. Understandable. How do these seniors and juniors kind of bring you along? Are they pretty encouraging to you? Yes, they are. They are huge supporters. Very nice. Coach, well, how have you seen uh, Evan come along? Um, I've seen a pretty big transition. This is actually Evan's second year of wrestling. Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't start till an eighth grader. We've seen him a little bit in the summer. He come up to open mats and camps. And uh, coming in, placing at his first tournament, he's won, I think, a match at every tournament. You know, we go to Marion Harden, we go to CIT. It's a pretty brutal schedule, and Evan's adapted pretty well. He's got a win for us at every tournament. Mm -hmm. I think he's placed at 50% of them. I think his record's right around uh, 10 and 11 or, wow. or 10 and 10. So it's right around a 500 record, mm -hmm. which any of these guys sitting back, you know, back in the room, their freshman year, a 10 and 10, they would have loved to have Right, that. right, against so, varsity competition, yep. yeah. Evan, uh, the prosthetic leg, just how, how have you worked through it? I mean, you've overcome so much. That's an encouragement, I know, to a lot of people. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just do it. <laughs> you just uh, go out there and go. Mm -hmm. People say I'm inspiring, and I guess I'm okay. Just do what I do. Do you see a coach? Do you see other wrestlers inspired because of his work ethic? I, th I think so. Yeah. Um, but when, you know, coaching Evan, I don't ever hear him bring it up. Right. So it's, it's not a big issue. Um, sure. He doesn't, he doesn't talk about it. You know, we, we have to adjust some stuff. But I think at tournaments, we got coaches and wrestlers that will come up and ask me questions. I'm sure they come up and ask him questions. Um, you know, just to be able to prove to, to younger kids and anybody out there, you know, that you can do anything you set your mind to is a big thing. Yeah, very impressive there. Uh, Coach, talk about another one of your freshmen, Brett Vonderwell, doing so well in the early going here, having young guys in the program doing well for you. <clears throat> yeah, Brett's uh, – Freshman, uh, he started out a Lincoln View Invitational. We took a couple losses there. Uh, I think he's about 16 and 10 right now. Um, last weekend, we, we took him to the CIT, the Catholic Invitational, and um, he drew the number two seed, which is a highly ranked kid from Toledo Central Catholic, big school. Yeah. And we lost a close one, uh, 13 to 10. Uh, in order for Brett to place, he had to win five matches in a row. Wow. Um, which, you know, is a pretty big deal for a freshman, especially at a big tournament. And uh, he ended up pulling out a fifth place for us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's the first freshman we've ever had place at the CIT. Okay. Uh, we had four placers. We had a, a senior, a junior, a sophomore, and a freshman. So <laughs> there you go. That's pretty cool to have. It certainly is. Good representation here from Delphi St. John's. We'll talk with Brett and another wrestler here as we finish up strong on Wits Wrestling Roundup from Delphi St. John's on WSN. Final time here on Wits Wrestling Roundup with Delphi St. John's. Brett Vonderwell. Mm -hmm. I'll get it in four years. You know, I got some time, right? Yeah. Freshman for Delphi St. John's, fifth to CIT, Justin Seeker down at the end. Brett, let's start with you. What was that CIT experience like having to win five matches to get that fifth place? 
just having to dig myself back out from the first loss to coming up and being the first freshman to place from St. John's. Is, the level of competition and everything up there from what it is around here is way different than I'm used to. That first match, 13 to 10, a uh, second seeded wrestler, were, were you a little deflated that you didn't win or did you have confidence that you did so well that that kind of carried you through? I think it carried me through. It helped me knowing that he was second seed and was ranked in D1 and everything and he only beat me by three and the rest of the day he beat everybody else by a lot of points. So. Oh really? Mm -hmm. So you feel like he could have been second, maybe, if you mm -hmm. didn't run into him right away. Yeah. Team duel atmosphere tomorrow. Uh, what are you expecting going into this? Obviously, it'll be your first time in the state team duel setting. What do you think about it? Close matches all the way through. Mm -hmm. Just stiff competition all the way through as it goes. Justin Seifker, the Delphi St. John's wrestling program is building each year, getting a nice tradition. You're having a pretty good season. What's it been like for you so far, and what's um, it like to be a part of this? It's been real fun to be a part of this season. I mean, we got some good leaders. Our captains are really carrying the team this year, and they're doing a lot to help build the program up. And, I mean, it's helping all of our younger kids because all the, cap the captains will watch matches and help all of their younger kids on what to do and how to, get, how to improve themselves. It's really spread out between the seniors, juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. Is that kind of a neat dynamic to have different guys from each classes? Yeah, it's, I mean, our practice room is very intense. I mean, all the way from top to bottom of our lineup with everybody from the seniors. I mean, there's being there last year, they ain't got much time left to achieve their goals. So, I mean, they're pushing the juniors, which is pushing all the lower classmen and everything. Does it feel like now the season's starting to get ramped up, or did CIT even start that? Now that we're getting the state duels, the MAC meet will come, sectionals. Does it feel like the second half of the season now, Justin, playoff season? Right. I mean, the CIT is the high point of our season. Uh -huh. I mean, it's now everything from here on is what really matters. Now is really starting to just tweak everything, get everything ready for tournament time, sectionals. Brett, headed into your freshman season back in November, what were your goals going in, and where are you at right now as far as those goals go and where you think you can get? My goals were just shock everybody as I went in, and mm. so far I think I've accomplished that as I've gone. You're going to shock some more people, you think? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Delta St. John's very excited. They'll host the duel. It'll be Wednesday. I think the first match is 5.30, OG and Van Wert, and then the winner of that gets Delta St. John's, and there'll be another match to follow that as well. You can come out to the Vatican for that, and then they will also have the LCC invitation. You guys are there this weekend, right? Friday yeah. and Saturday. So a huge weekend of wrestling for Delphi St. John's and the Blue Jays. We'll have full highlights on Friday and Saturday of the Sports Report. This has been Wits Wrestling Roundup. Thanks for joining us from Delphi St. John's here on WSN.